Today we're making one single cinnamon roll. Now this is not my recipe. I stole it from, I believe her name is Joy the Baker on TikTok, go follow her. Um, but we're gonna try it for the first time. Okay, I'm very clearly still in my pajamas and it's raining so I'm probably gonna stay like this for most of the day. I also have my butter in my pocket because it needs to be room temperature. And if you keep it close to your body heat, then it gets up to room temperature a little bit faster. So here we go, one single cinnamon roll. Half a cup of flour, two teaspoons of sugar, a pinch of kosher salt, one eighth teaspoon of baking powder, one fourth teaspoon of instant yeast, two teaspoons of a neutral oil, I am using vegetable oil, two and a half tablespoons of warm milk. Mix it all together. Okay, once you've kind of got it all together, you do have to knead this. I know that you guys hate kneading dough and you love all of my no knead recipes, but we do have to knead this one to activate the yeast. So here we go. The good thing is that this one's not very sticky, so it's not very messy. I'm gonna get my dough scraper. Okay, I've been kneading for probably five minutes now, and you want to continue to knead the dough until the dough springs back on itself if you stick your finger in um, and can hold its form. So this is pretty done. Now I'm just going to let it rest for about 10-ish minutes. Just cover it with a clean kitchen towel. Oh, it's very apparent that I have a... Um, animal print situation here. It's in my hair, it's in my pajamas, and now it's on my towel. Cool. So we're just gonna let that rest for 10 minutes and we'll be back. Okay, it's been probably 15 minutes of the dough resting and I'm gonna roll it out. I have these little mini rollers that I use for food photography, but it's perfect for making this tiny little cinnamon roll. Okay, so I'm just gonna roll it out. Okay, I just preheated my oven to 350 degrees. I've rolled out my dough, and now I'm going to put the room temperature butter on it, add some brown sugar and cinnamon, and then we're gonna roll it up. This is about two-ish tablespoons of butter. God, I love butter. Brown sugar. And this is probably, I think she said she used three tablespoons, but I'm just going to eyeball it and sprinkle all the sugar everywhere. And now of course we need some cinnamon. Before we roll it, I'm gonna grease my baking dish. She actually used a one cup ramekin, but I didn't have that. This is the smallest baking dish that I have. It's like a little mini cake pan. Um, so hopefully it's not too big. It looks like it might be. I'm just going to use the rest of the butter that was on the spoon that I used and also the rest that was in the container. And I'm just going to butter this bad boy. Okay, so this was really cool that she did. I've never seen anybody do this before. She cut her um, dough into three pieces. And then she just rolled them into each other. So let me tell it to you a little bit. So we're gonna start and just roll this guy. And then you just add that to the second piece and roll that guy. Last piece, I should have done the two outside pieces, but whatever, next time. Then we'll roll this one. Look how cute it is. And then, yeah, this is definitely too big, but this is all we have, so we're just gonna roll with it. That's what it looks like in here. And I'm just gonna set this near the oven while the oven is still reaching 350 degrees. Um, and once it gets in its temp, we'll cook it for about 18 minutes. I'm too tall for this stand that I'm using right now. 
Okay, so while the oven is still preheating, we're gonna make the glaze. So I'm gonna use some cream cheese. Oh, that was a lot. Powdered sugar. I'm just gonna do like, I don't know, two tablespoons. A little bit of vanilla. And then a little bit of milk. You know what? Her recipe called for milk, but I'm gonna use a little bit of heavy whipping cream. I wonder if you could use eggnog for that too. I just saw eggnog in the fridge. I do not drink it. I think it's disgusting, but my husband really likes it. So now I'm just going to mix this all together. And this is gonna be a really yummy glaze for our cinnamon roll. Ooh, that looks so good. Now we're gonna stick our cinnamon roll in the oven. Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells so good. We definitely messed up by putting it in too big of a ramekin because it kind of unfolded. Um, if I was smart, I would have put it inside of a cupcake, like a cupcake dish or cupcake pan so that it could have stayed the way it's supposed to. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that was hot. Mm, it smells so good. Now I'm just gonna cover it with the um, glaze that we made. And it's still nice and hot, so it should melt all over it. Just do a little taster of this flap that's falling off. Whoop, hot. Mm. <laughs> this is a dangerous recipe. Mmm, <laughs> it's so good.